welcome back to Red Ted Art. This is the journal where you join in. You can join in in two ways. One is you check out the challenge that I have done this week and you have a go as well, either in a record to this journal or in an, a regular page, or you go to the end of the video, you check the eye polls and you vote what I do next week. So come on, let's wreck this journal. So the first page we're doing today is adding your suggestions to this list. Now you guys came up with loads of ideas and it was really hard to pick some. Now, um, I won't name everybody because I get a bit confused, so I'm really sorry, but just see if you can find your idea here. The first one is inspirational quotes. Love the idea and I do love inspirational quotes. Now the second one, I've got a whole list up here, and I quite like this one actually, is um, poke the book with a needle, because I think you can have some really good ideas there. So poke holes with a, I could really imagine that you do lots of really nice patterns with that, so I think that's a lovely idea. Next one I like is um, snip this book with scissors snip this book and that's closely linked and I think it's a great idea to make a paper snow snowflake I think that'd be really cute love that next one is quite similar to some of the things we've done before and I quite like this one as well because it's very much in the um, theme of wreck this journal which is draw anything or yourself draw blind folded love that one such a cute idea next one is <laughs> just because it's you guys and I think it's really cute is fill the page with emojis I mean come on what's not to love right I'm going to draw one here, colour that in in a minute. I also liked, I thought this was a really great idea, is cover the page in fabric scraps. This is a really good opportunity for creating some beautiful collages. Next, and I think this is another great idea, especially because we love card making here in Redhead Art, Make a pop-up picture. Genius. And we have lots of um, pop-up cards here on Redhead Arts. I think that's a perfect fit to what we do here. The next one we've got is um, decorate a page based on a holiday and I like this idea because you can do lots of collages you can put stickers in you know uh, ticket stubs all sorts of things like that and I think that's really really great really fun ideas now a couple of you suggested this I'm not sure if this is in one of the journals already but I do think it's really great is um, use this page as a plate <laughs> I think that would be really fun the next one is, I need to find one now. Uh, la la la, la la la, oh yes, here it is. Use this page with your pets. Now that would be really cute, don't you think? The next one, I think it's also really fun and could be quite interesting. Shred this page. Oh yes, shred this page. Now I love crafting with shredded paper, um, so that's a really great idea. And then the very last one, and there were so many ideas and it was really hard to pick from, but the very last one I'm gonna pick today is, oh, I dropped my lid. Draw with orange or lemon juice 
And I love that idea because you can turn that into a secret message. And there we go. Thank you for helping me create this list of ideas. Come on then, let's see what the next challenge is. So the next page we're doing is it's not the one you wrote it for, but you have wrote it for in the past, is the right backwards page. Now I just want to check what's here and what's on this side. I think we'll use both pages and I'm going to attempt to write backwards. Let's see. This is going to be tricky. Okay. Except now I've realised it says backward. Let's put an S there. Backwards. <laughs> now we're going to decorate it. You can take any pens, but I'm going to use these lovely pens because it's really bright. And let's see what we can turn this into. I have written backwards. <laughs> Let's see what you challenged me to do next. So, what did you guys choose? You chose secret message somewhere in this book. Now, the way I interpreted that secret message thing was that I created my own emoji code maker. So, uh, you can tick down below, there's a printable. I'm going to cut this out and show you how to use it. And then I'm going to write a secret coded message for you guys to try and work out. Okay, so that's how you make your uh, code maker. Now, the way you use it is, you can either leave it aligned the way it is, with A aligned to the smiley face at the top and aligned to cool, or, and this is how it makes it tricky, so it doesn't matter who's got the coder, it's up to you and your friends, you adjust it. So you pick, you choose. So I'm gonna, for example, say, I want the R, oh no, not the R, let's see, the U next to the hearts. So you have to decide with your friends, how you choose to align this. Mine's gonna be you, like you, and hearts, because I love you. So now you have a new code. So if I want to use, uh, write something with the word A, I have to draw that emoji. If I want to write something with the word W, I need to use that emoji. So I'm now gonna write a message on here in emoji using my code U and hearts, and you guys can try and work out what I've written. <laughs> so I'm gonna speed that bit up and then later, obviously, we'll come back to it to see what we'll be doing next week. tricky to un uh, to work out what exactly it is I was writing um, and you could also see I switched pens at the end because I found the black pen I was using earlier on was smudging my emojis actually I'm just gonna give them a little black outline and then that is our secret messages finished so next week let's see you guys tell me what you'd like me to do next let's take a look I'm also going to glue this in, I think, because that's quite fun. Right, next week, shall we smush something colourful on this page? Shall we chew on this? Warning, do not swallow. Shall we 
glue random items here or draw lines using abnormal writing utensils. So remember, you choose what I do next. There's an eye poll up here, vote for it so that we can see. And in the meantime, keep watching, keep creating, and we'd love to see you again soon. Take care, bye.